Good morning girls we are in continuation of a chapter number 11 reproduction in plants and today we will study about fertilization what do you mean by fertilization fertilization is a process of fusion of male gamete with the female gamete okay what happens in the like uh, we have done the reproduction <coughs> in the sex in the asexual manner in the asexual manner what happens the parent plant is only involved and it gives rise to the uh, to the new plant similarly in the vegetative propagation what happens the vegetative parts of a plant they give rise to the new plant but in sexual reproduction what happens the male gametes the male part or the male uh, particular male <coughs> part of that uh, flower it fuses with the female part and then it gives rise to the new plant or the uh, the seed arises and then it gives rise to the new plant that is called the fertilization fertilization is a fusion okay now what happens see i'll tell you you know that uh, the pollen grains which are on the anther they get stuck to this stigma okay they can get stuck to the wind also they can get stuck to the water also they can get stuck to the various means that we have already studied when the pollen grains they get stuck on the stigma stigma is sticky so the pollen grains they get stuck over here then what happens a tube a pollen tube it develops inside the style this is a style and this is a ov ovary right so a tube thin tube it develops inside the style through which these pollen grains they go down 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 and they reach the ovary and they fuse with the ovules right so what happens when they <coughs> fuse with the Uh, ovules the male gametes pollen grains they are having certain male part inside that inside them so that male part the male gametes it travels down and it reaches the ovary and it fuses with the female gamete right female gamete they are present in the ovules they fuse with the ovules in in the ovules there is a female part that is called female gametes and this fusion is called fertilization right and this fertilized cell when they get fertilized after the fertilization a cell develops here and that cell is called zygote this is a very important term girls usually <coughs> it is asked in the uh, fill in the blanks or one word what is a fertilized cell called fertilized cell is called zygote okay what happens with the zygote then zygote it divides and forms the embryo and the cell in the embryo it develops into the shoot and the root system now girls what happens after the fertilization when the fertilization has already taken place and the cell that is a zygote has been formed the zygote it forms the embryo and then the cell inside the embryo it develops into a new plant after fertilization what happens the role of the flower it is over so the flower withers withers means it gets broken down the sep petals the sepals the stamen everything it becomes lifeless okay and then what happens the ovary here this ovary it changes into a fruit and the ovules they change into seed they give rise to the new fruit in which there is a seed over there is that clear now <clears throat> what happens see you can see in the diagram also this all happens after the fertilization what happens the zygote is formed okay and then these petals they uh, become lifeless they get withered withered means they break down and they uh, just drop down okay and uh, the sepals also they also drop down the stamen also it uh, becomes lifeless and this it changes into the ovary changes into the fruit and the seeds which are inside that they are the ovules the ovules have got developed into the seeds now what happens when the seeds are formed right the fruit is formed and <clears throat> the seeds are inside that okay after some times what happens when the seeds they get dry they get dispersed the fruits from the fruits the seeds come out okay now when the seeds they become dry then they get dispersed what do you mean by dispersed dispersed means getting scattered over a large area scattering phail jana right so that is called seed dispersal 
So seed dispersal is a scattering of seeds over the large area through various means. Now how do how do seeds they get scattered from one place to the another place? How do they go? Do they have legs? They can they go on their own? No. They go through these four means. First is by explosion. What happens? What do you mean by explosion? In this method, the pod or the fruit it bursts open with a great force, scattering the seeds inside. For example, balsam and pea plants. What happens when the fruit becomes ripe? Okay, then it bursts out on its own. There is a pressure inside it. It bursts out and the seed gets scattered here and there. It goes into the soil and from the soil a new plant arises. Okay. Second is dispersal by wind. What happens when uh, again the fruit has become ripened out? The fruit it gets destroyed and the seeds are there. And then in these seeds they get dispersed by the winds. Wind by the wind. Okay. And when the wind blows, these seeds are easily blown away to far off places. For example, dandelion and maple seeds. They go to the various places. They are dropped down there. And again, <clears throat> they uh, get buried into the soil. And with the natural uh, procedure, they develop into the new plants. Third is dispersal by water. What happens? The seeds that are dispersed by water have a spongy coat or a layer of fiber that makes them light. Okay, and this property helps them to float on the water. The flowing water then carries them to the faraway places, for example, coconut. Okay, the coconut, <clears throat> it is usually grown near the, near the sea areas. So, it, uh, the seed of the coconut, it gets dispersed from water. The fruit, it drops down and it breaks down. The seed comes out and it is carried away by the water to some other place from the fro. So, there also the vegetation, it develops. These are the various ways through which the seeds, they get scattered to the various places and they give rise to the new vegetation all over that area. Then we have dispersal by animals also. What happens? <clears throat> Sometimes the animals, they eat the fruits. They are roaming in the jungle. They eat the fruits and they discard the seeds. Okay. Animals such as uh, they, they eat the fruits and they take out the seeds like human beings do. They take out the seeds and then what happens? Some animals such as squirrel, they bury the seeds into the soil to hide the seeds and then forget about them. And then what happens? Some birds eat the fruits along with the seeds. So there are two ways. Sometimes the animals they eat the fruits, they take out the seed. They just throw the seed from their mouth. That seed is uh, some animals are there like squirrels and etc. They hide those seeds in the mud, in the soil and they forget about that. So it develops into a new plant. Sometimes what happens, the animals, some animals they eat the fruit and the seed both. It goes into the stomach and when the waste is uh, excreted out, the it comes out during the excretion, the uh, seed and it gets buried into the soil and it develops into a new plant. Okay, so this was the dispersal of the seed. So with this girls, we come to an end of this chapter, right? Now, I will be sending you the short question answers of this and the book work also of this chapter and the long question answers will be sent in the next session. So girls, uh, very shortly I will be telling you the course for uh, PA2. Like after the half year lease, we have started with, uh, <clears throat> no before only half year lease. Till half year lease we have done chapter number 9, till chapter number 9 we have done and chapter number 12 we have done in half year lease. So whatever is done after that, chapter 10, chapter 11, chapter 13, 14, 15, okay, till 15 we have done. So we will decide on the PA2 syllabus. But till now, after the half year lease, we have done 3, 4, 5, 5 chapters including this. Okay, so just be aware of that. Please keep your work complete.